<laughs> this is the hot zone. Engaging with the news in a whole new way, international war correspondent Chuck Holton brings insight into areas of crisis and lets you help those affected. Today we have the privilege of bringing food to the city of Kherson, which was under Russian occupation up from the beginning of, of the war up until about, what, four days ago? Um, the Russians are only about two miles that way. There's artillery going out. It sounds like it's going that way. It doesn't sound like it's coming in, which is good. Last night we packed about 600 boxes and a couple hundred bags of food into all these vans. And this morning we drove them here and we're dropping them off at this hospital that will now become like a distribution center. Um, there's literally no food here. I walked around and besides the food that we brought in, I only saw a pepper and like a little bag of greens. The food supplies have been disrupted because they were under Russian occupation and it's still not going yet because it's been so recent and it's also very dangerous because the Russians left lots of mines when they left. So when we drove in here, we had to stay in the middle of the road. There were mine signs that said Mina Mina everywhere. There's missiles sticking out of the ground in all, all random places in the road. We had to go around big ditches that were caused by missiles and stuff. So it's very dangerous still to get in here. They're only just now starting the process of demining. And as we were driving in, it's just fields and fields, and it is going to take years to demine everything. They left booby traps, so we can't just like wander into buildings or anything. We have to be super careful where we go. There was a lady here, her and her husband were pastors of a church here locally. And when the war started, they happened to be um, traveling out of the country. So they were stuck outside of Herson. And they felt really, really bad because their church family was here, but they couldn't be here. Um, so we were standing here and a van pulled up and she started waving and they jumped out of the car and hugged each other and they were crying and I was trying to film and not cry myself. They were so happy to see each other after months of praying for each other and missing each other. And I can't even imagine the stress that I would be under if everyone I loved was here under Russian occupation, knowing how terrible the Russians are to people. And if you say that you are for Ukraine, they would just kill you right, right there on the spot. Uh, all those people who are for Ukraine, like uh, pro-Ukrainian, they would just could like grab and just uh, like drive somewhere. Uh, and we like, even don't know what would happen to those people. They could even uh, kill you for the word uh, war. It was scary. When I was, would drive, they could just stop you and either kill you. Or... If, you don't, if they don't like something, they could just kill. And there were a lot of cases like that. She says that as soon as she's able to move back here, she's going to be back here. It doesn't matter if there's internet, food, electricity, doesn't matter. She can't wait to be home. Uh, I I can't even express what I'm feeling. It's it's a happiness, and uh, for me, it's 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 a mountain that was impossible to be moved, but it was moved only by God. As soon as we are allowed to go, uh, to be back in the city, because right now we are only given a permit to be here for one day to bring this humanitarian aid. But as soon as we are allowed to be here, like to to move back. We will be here again with our church. And of course, I believe there's so much to do now as our city is liberated. So much uh, needs, like so many needs, so much hunger, so much everything. And we are ready to, like, to, to immerse in this uh, work. This is just amazing to see. When we drove in, the people were waving at us and they were so happy. Um, they don't have food, they don't have water, they don't have electricity, but they are glowing with joy because they're so happy to be free from the Russians. They said that as soon as the Russians left, all of the pressure went away and they're just so incredibly happy. And it's amazing to see. It's a privilege to be part of all of this. So now I think we're gonna do Christian's Uber Eats. That's what I'm like calling it. <laughs> Christian's the guy that is kind of leading us. But we're gonna take uh, bags of food and go distribute them, knock on doors, give them to people and pray for those people. Um, yeah. That was an artillery round. Here, it went across the river. Point 
seven millimeter. <laughs> Good year. <laughs> what do you think that is? That's a grad. That's incoming. That's incoming? Um, if you'd like to follow our travels, go to checkholton.locals.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day, I guess. <laughs>